Standing here in front of the, the lot next to the church, you know, when I was praying about being the pastor of this church and believing what God had spoke to me about being the next pastor at Lincoln Christian Life Center, I parked right across the street from this lot and the church under that, that oak tree and I prayed about being the pastor and in that prayer time I, I believe that God spoke to me about this lot being a part of what God wants to do with Lincoln Christian Life Center. When I became the pastor, other people spoke to me about that same feeling that they had received from God. And you know, I believe that as, as we give more to God, then we get more from God. As we expect more from God, we get more from God. As we step out in faith, big steps of faith, then God does big faith things in our life. And, and I'm asking you to step out in big faith with me and pray about God giving us the opportunity to have this piece of land so we can expand what God wants to do in our futures. It's not about just today, it's about our tomorrows. There's a couple other things that I, I wanna to speak to you about this morning in relation to the big things that God wants to do. Now I'm standing in front of the field in the back of our property and behind the gym. I don't know if you've been to the gym, I don't even know if you know we have a gym, but we do. And it's an incredible opportunity. It's an incredible opportunity for us to give God more, to see Him do more. Just like the field behind us is another opportunity to give God more and see Him do more. With the gym, there's some things that we need to do. The, the HVAC needs to be installed and the, the insulation of the ceiling's falling down and the floor needs to be finished. But if we could do those things, if we could finish those things, if we could give God more and allow Him to do more through us, we could reach this community at different and more levels as we finish the gym and it becomes an opportunity, a resource for us to use for our community, for basketball, for the city to come in here and volleyball and other things to come and utilize this place. They'll get on our campus and we'll have the opportunity to be Jesus. Imagine if we give God more, He'll be able to give us more, more opportunity, more blessing, more responsibility, more ministry. We got $16,000 in the bank to finish the, the gym project. You know what, we, we probably need more. There's an opportunity for you to give God more and then Him to give you more. The, the field behind me, what an incredible opportunity we have as a church. Right now, I feel like there's a chance for us to put some irrigation in and, and lay some sod down and do a soccer field. Again, another opportunity for us to give God more of our resources, of this property, of our time, so that we can get more from God, of the, the, the people being on this campus, them seeing us as a church, them being, them being encountering in, by us and the love of God through us and, and the city and other uh, organizations utilizing that facility and, and the, the soccer field and us being able to get more from God as we give more to Him. I want you to think about that. Are you willing in your life to give more to God so you can get more from God? Now I'm standing in the courtyard, right in front of the classrooms where the school meets. You know, we gotta put sprinklers in the building to keep the school here beyond this year into next year and the, for the many years to come. And it's an opportunity for us to give God more and, and get more back. We, we give him some resources and, and we get it back his, his blessing and opportunity to minister to this community where we give the school a place to be so they can reach children and, and, and educate them in, in the things of God and, and instill them what it means to be a person of God as a child and you train up a child in the way they should go and they won't turn away from it when they become adults. And so yeah, we're giving some more so that, that we can get some more from God though. And you know, the, the expenses of this is gonna be rather large. And so we're asking if, if maybe you would give above and beyond your normal giving so the finances of this could be easier. Maybe for a year you give $25 a month or for three or for five. But as we give God more, we get more back. We get more blessing, we get more opportunity, we get more chances to share God with this community. Chances like going to Palo Verde Park and doing a park outreach where we give more of our time and we get back from God the blessing of being able to share His love with the community or the, the opportunity to give more back by, by giving backpacks away to kids who wouldn't have backpacks and school supplies any other way. 
or maybe giving Thanksgiving dinner to a family who doesn't have the opportunity for Thanksgiving dinner or presents for Christmas. Those are just some of the opportunities that we have here at Lincoln Christian Life Center to give more to God so we can get back more from God. We can get back more so we can give more away. We can get back more so we can get the opportunity for blessing through ministry and opportunity. We can get back more through legacy. Right, because we're about love, life, and legacy. And as if we give more away of what God has given us, then he gives us more so we can continue to give more away and build the legacy that he's intended us to have. I wanna encourage you, challenge you, ask you to think about giving God more so you can get more from God. But I wanna say as I, as I close and get ready to come back in the auditorium this morning, it's not just about money, it covers every aspect of our life. It's not just about our, our financial resources, it's every resource we have. So this morning, I want to ask you to be willing to give more to God so you can get more back.